Hey there folks, I'm Mysterious JG, and welcome back to Let's Play Stationfall. The only item that we've encountered that we didn't pick up and do anything with so far, um, other than now the poison cup of coffee, is the, um, the dome, right? I'm going to actually look at that detonator, because I kind of was like, oh, well, well, bear in mind there's a detonator around, and we'll use it later. And I'm like, man, eh, it might be something where we just need to open the detonator and note that, um... There might be like a part inside of it that we need, and we don't need the detonator itself. So I'm going to go down a level and go. Floyd is wandering around. That takes us to meeting room one. Oh, it's north and south. Okay, so if we get detonator, examine detonator. It's a state-of-the-art detonator, fairly cubicle with two connection ports points. There is a faint crack running around the outside of the detonator, indicating that perhaps it can be opened. Meanwhile, Floyd and Plato are plating hydrant seeker. Play with Plato. Can't see Plato here. Open detonator. Opening the detonator reveals a blackened hyperdiode. Uh, clean. If it's black and it's like burned, right? Examine hyperdiode. Diode is so charged you can't even tell what series it is. Clean hyperdiode? It might just be worthless. You scrap enough black off that you can just make out a letter M. Alright. Uh, it may or may not be that we can use that thing. Waiting for Plato and Floyd to show up. Play with Plato. Wasn't that fun? Play with Floyd. And you play with him and he pokes you gleefully. Come on, let's play some more. Search Plato. That wouldn't be polite. Floyd stubs his toe and begins to whimper. There, there, says Plato. Such a reaction will not produce the level of pain. Oh. All right, so we go down to level three, down to level four, down to level five. I think this was the main place where we first entered. Um, quarter heads around the shaft, northeast and southeast. So this is where we first came in, so we can go northeast of the north junction. The central corridor continues around the southeast and southwest, but another corridor joins from the north. There's a door to the east and a doorway to the northeast. I really should be drawing a map, but... Hold on, they're saying that we just came northeast. Now they're saying that we can continue around to the southeast and southwest, which will go back where we came. And there's another corridor joining from the north. There's a door to the east and a doorway to the northeast. Let's go northeast first. The PX! This is the shop for station personnel, the post exchange, as it is known. Selling everything from postcards, chewing gum, and inflated prices. Oh, by the way, if you are not watching along as I go, I totally understand. But I am going to be injecting my own thoughts into the text periodically, so you may not get a 100% perfect understanding of what's the text and what's me talking. Anyway, this is the shop for station personnel, selling everything from postcards, chewing gum, and inflated prices. Exits lead west and southwest. In the corner of the PX is a Stella Patrol dispensing machine, consisting of a screen displaying the dispenser's exciting, in quotes, offerings. A slot for coin insertion, a keypad for typing your selection, and a hole where the dispense item hopefully but rarely arrives. Floyd bounds to the room. Floyd here now! And Plato's there too. Look at machine. In the corner of the PX is a dispensing machine consisting of a screen, a slot. All right, well, I guess look at screen. I'm trying to figure out what we could buy from this thing if we ever come across a coin. Stella Patrol Vendomatic. All items, one Gallic mid. Patrol songbook, sold out. Set of postcards, sold out. ID card polish, sold out. Pilot's compass, sold out. Patrol pen and pencil set, sold out. All-purpose timer. They have some. Pocket computer, sold out. Birth control pills, sold out. Large drill bit. In a very sad voice, okay, so we're, we're have uh, Floyd talking about Lazarus and Plato giving him some wisdom. Uh, and they go through the entire routine again after I look. Exits lead west and southwest. So let's go west. 
with connection. The corridor widens here as it approaches the skin of the space station at the point where a scientific submodule will connect. Sure enough, the connecting tube of this submodule begins just to the north. An outer door lies to the west. Opposite it, a doorway leads east. A junction is visible to the south. So let's not go to the scientific module until we've finished exploring this initial module. If we go west, it is pitch black. You hope there are no grooves aboard the station. Floyd and Plato follow you. Plato. Turn on light. It's too dark to see a thing. I'll go back east. Although I am now curious as to whether we can die from hanging around in a dark room. And uh, it does not look like we can. So let's go south to the north junction, south again, southeast. East junction, the corridor continues around to the northwest and southwest, and an adjoining one heads east. East, east connection. The corridor widens to the east. Connection point for military submodule, an iris hatch at the connection point is shut tight. Next to the hatch is a slot. There's a door northwest of here, and doorways to the south and southwest. There's a junction in the corridor west of you. Inventory, got a detonator survival kit, toy uniform, ID card, put card in slot. Slot swallows the ID card and then spits it back. Okay. Let's go northwest. That takes us to sick bay. Surrounding the beds of this infirmary is the finest diagnostic equipment that unlimited stellar patrol budgets can buy. To the east, an ID reader indicates the security door. You can leave to the west or southeast. Put card in reader. Nothing happens. Lie in bed. You are now in bed. Wait. Something because how tired you are and how comfortable the bed is. You should be asleep in no time. You slowly sleep, sink into a deep sleep. November 5, 11, 349. You awake feeling refreshed and ready to face anything this new day might come to throw at you. Care to throw at you. Floyd bounces impatiently around the foot of the bed. Plato is nearby, leafing through his book. About time you woke up, lazy bones, said Floyd. Let's explore some more. Now you're in the sick bay. Uh, oh, and I dropped all my stuff. So surrounding the beds of this firm is the finest diagnostic ever. Okay. Get up. Get all. Floyd, you manage to lift Floyd a few centimeters, but too heavy, and you drop him suddenly. Floyd gets a surprise squeal and moves a respectful distance away. Plato. After experience with Floyd, decide not to try lifting Plato, and then I pick up everything else. If we go west, we go to the north junction. The outer door opens sluggishly. As soon as you have passed through, it zooms shut seemingly a little sooner than normal. Very puzzling. Outer doors have been around for millennia and are generally the epitome of reliability. Southeast, east, south. Com center. This is the Deep Space Communication Center, which keeps the station in touch with the Stellar Patrol Command and the rest of the Third Galactic Union. Although regulations state that the comm center must be monitored around the clock, 10 crons per day, there's no one on duty. Most of the equipment here is too complicated for anyone without Deep Space Communication trained to use. However, the red button on the wideband emergency beacon is well marked. Next to the button is a large screen for displaying incoming messages. At the moment, the screen is blank. The only exit is north. Okay. Push red button. The jolly candy-like button. The instant you touch the button, a powerful electric shock makes you jerk back. So you cannot place an emergency call. The only exit is north, so let's go north. East connection. The iris hatch is closed. So we're back in the East Connection. Um, we went northwest. We went south. We did not go southwest. Southwest takes us to Station Control. This is the nerve center of the space station, where every single, where every system can be monitored. Several of the monitors are blinking red. The exits are south, north, east, and west. Look at monitors, and spell it right if you don't mind, JG. Communication status red. Life support status yellow. Food production status red. Gravity status yellow. Computer status green. Power status yellow. Printing status red. Let's go south. Commander's office. This is the station commander's HQ with doors to the south and east and doorways to the north 
and Northwest. You can see a log reader here. Examine log reader. This simple device is for recording and reading log entries. It includes a tiny red button and a microphone speaker. The moment the log reader is off and there's no log tape in it. So we need to keep an eye out for a log tape. Let's try going east. Door opens sluggishly. Zooms shut a little faster than you would expect. And we're in the commander's quarters. These are by far the, large, the nicest living quarters on the station with separate sleeping, changing, and working cubicles and a private sand fact. The only exit is west. A sturdy safe is welded to the, desk next to, the, to the deck next to the desk. I'm going to assume that we can't open that yet. Sitting on the commander's desk is an ordinary looking log tape. There's a notation printed on it. Floyd bounds into the room and says, Floyd, here now. Read notation. Taking the log tape first. Commander's Law, 11349.12.2 through 11349.12.4. Floyd stubs his toe and begins to whimper. There, there, says Plato. Examine safe. It's a top-of-the-line hypersecurity safe featuring a doll with 8,000 settings. There are probably between 12 and 20 numbers in the combination. Let's go west. Put log in reader. Done. Turn on reader. A gravelly voice comes from the log reader. 11349.12.2.3800. Some cripping jokers have been pilfering the station's fuel cells to go out on joyrides. See, I wanted to talk like Captain Picard, but he said gravelly. Uh, maybe, he's, maybe he's Captain Picard anyway. I have hidden the fuel cells up in the dome storage bin. Now I'm talking like Plato. Okay. I've hidden the fuel cells up in the dome storage bin, slapped a lock on the bin, and deposited the key in my safe. There will be no joyriding in my command. So in his safe, we will find the key to the dome store. Okay, the dome storage bin will have fuel cells in it. The magnetized voice comes to the log reader and tones a single word more, and the red button on the leader writes up. Press red button. Blah, 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 5100. Reproductions officer Hausberg reports that collated number 22 is offline for routine service. Estimates one or two days downtime. Also unidentified craft detected in sector. No response to hailings. Sending convinced the vault to intercept. Magnetized voice and reader and tones a single word more. Floyd after my labor size the first 600 digits of pi. Floyd is, I hate to say it, but like the fact that there's like no new, like Floyd is doing all the same stuff as before. There's no new fun Floyd stuff is kind of irritating already. Press red button. Blah, 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 0.6750. Unidentified craft hood to docking, docking bay one. It is a single cabin vessel of unfamiliar alien origin. The only thing aboard were the remains of one of the aliens and a featureless pyramid. I'll leave it to the eggheads, or I've got a problem of my own. A report that a used spaceship dealer in the village named Shady Dan is selling modified patrol ID cards. Liaison officer Bumblewitz is investigating. Hmm. So this takes it out of me. So we can press the red button to get more. Blah, 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 dot, 1911. Professor Schmidt has backplotted the course of the alien vessel. There are no star systems along the course. He theorizes that it may be of extragalactic origin. We can press the red button again. So this alien, uh, that, I'm thinking the, the unexplained alien vessel arriving, and then the machines go crazy and start killing everyone. These things may be connected. Blah, 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 5100. No cooperation from Shady Dan, so I'm putting the village off limits to station personnel. No more village entry forms will be validated. Floyd tells Plato about a neat shortcut for calculating 7th order differentials. Press the red button. Blah, 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 5250. Some crippling joker snuck into my office and now validated a whole bunch of village entry forms. 
I won't take that kind of trot board my station. I'll hide the stamp under my bed until I find out who's responsible. Also, I gave Schmidt permission to move the alien pyramid to the holding tank in the side sub-module for further study. The alien skeleton is too brittle to move, they say. Mm. This log reader is overheating. I'll have to dig out the spare. The mechanized voice and log reader and tones the single word more, and the red button on the leader reader lights up. Oh, here's a new one. Plato reaches the last page of his book. Heavens, it appears to be time for another jaunt to the library. Would you care to accompany me, my boisterous friend? Oh boy, yes sirree, says Floyd, bounding off after Plato. I hope they have copies of my favorite comic, The Adventures of Lane Mastodon. I'm going to save. I think it's possible to overheat and ruin the log reader, and I think the log reader is important. But just generally, you want to save periodically in this game. Blah, 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 7700. Equipment officer Mertz offered informs me that there have been several unexplainable breakdowns of the gymnastic equipment and the laundering machinery. All very simple equipment. Could it be sabotage? If so, how? Who? Why? Press button. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually, it's now 12-4, 1650. Emergency communication from the SPS Duffy. They are critically low on request for Stellar Patrol issue regulation black form binders request form forms and are sending someone over to pick up a truckload of them. Reproduction officer Hausberg says that the number 22 collator should be available to prepare the forms. Press button. The machine is not indicating that it's heating up. Blah, 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 1850. Augsburg reports an unexpected shutdown of web feeder number 17. No apparent reason for the shutdown and no warning either. He says that one of his personal almost personnel almost lost an arm when it shut down. We may have to hold the entire plant to investigate. No telling how long. What the trot? Now the spare log reader is overheating also. A mechanized voice. Then the log reader turns a single word more, and the red button on the lighter reader lights up. Floyd here now. And Plato's behind him. Plato, what are you reading? I don't know the word you. Look at Plato's book. Glancing over Plato's shoulder, you see that the book is a collection of some of the works of the 77th century poet, Ignatius Tomato. <laughs> Press red button. Blah, 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 1900. One of the ensigns in the filling division was seriously injured when one of the hole welders malfunctioned. She's in sick bay now. Doc says she should pull through. I've been in space for 32 years and I've never heard of a well welder malfun... What the crip? You like Floyd, don't you? Plato asks Floyd. Yes replies the taller robot. They're the only robot I've ever met that doesn't call me a nerd. Okay, now I'm going to press the red button. Well, I guess I'll save. But it was I was not told to press the red button this time. Mechanized voice reads, End of log. The reader begins producing a whining noise. Fla Floyd yawns and looks bored. Turn off reader. Okay, the reader's now off. East, back into his quarters. Look under bed. You discover a validation stamp. Floyd produces a crayon from one of his compartments and scrawls his name on the wall. Get stamp. Taken. Look at stamp. It's a fairly standard self thinking rubber stamp. Only exit is to the west, okay. So now this place could be exited to the south, east, north, and northwest. Let's try going south. The auto door opens sluggishly. As soon as you have passed through, it zooms shut. Seems a little faster than normal. Briefing room. This is the station's commander's briefing room. Doors point to the north and west. West. South connections. The corridor widens as it reaches the hall of the station to the south. A sub-module connection would be in a station with a diplomatic sub-module. The iris is closed. There's a slot next to the hatch. Other doors lead east and west, and a junction with another corridor is visible to the north. Save. I don't think there is a diplomatic submodule. 
So let's put card in hatch and see if the station is trying to kill us. The slot swallows the ID card and spits it back. Open hatch. Okay. Go west. We're in the robot shop. This is a room where new robots are constructed, old robots are repaired, and unused robots are stored. There's a door to the east. There's a young-looking robot lying here, apparently having completed the final training phase of its construction. The wires for feeding it information have been removed, but has not yet, quote, woken up. A dim memory from your old robotics text drifts through your mind. The incubation period between the training and birth of a robot is 2 to 20 days, depending on the complexity of the model. This particular model has the name Oliver engraved on its chest plate. You can see a heating chamber here. It seems that the heating chamber contains a medium drill bit. Examine chamber. Heating chamber contain, cleans or sterilizes small tools and equipment. There's a small opening for placing items in the chamber. Get bit. As a stage of caution, because of the intense heat within the chamber, the opening is too small for a normal human hand to get through. Floyd. Get bit. You don't see Floyd here. Waiting for him to arrive now. He's not doing it. Um, look in kit. I need to find food. Open thermos. Opening the thermos reveals a blue soup. Drink soup. Mmm, that tasted just like yummy blueberry walnut soup. The soup was lukewarm. Look in thermos. See nothing in the thermos bottle. Close thermos. Okay. Boy bounds it on Floyd here now. Floyd, get bit. Okay, Floyd reaches into the heating chamber and grabs a medium drill bit. Yikes, it's hot! He drops it on the deck where it quickly cools. Floyd bounces over and peers down at the unconscious robot. Oliver is a nice name. I hope Floyd will be around when Oliver wakes up. He looks over to you. Floyd remembers waking up for the first time. It is scariest and loneliest time for a robot. Floyd glances back at Oliver, looking more serious than you've ever seen Floyd look. If we be here when Oliver wakes up, Floyd would like to teach Oliver to play paddle ball. Paddleball helped Floyd forget how lonely and scared he was until he found friends like you. Hug Floyd. Floyd gets a contented sigh. Hug Plato. Plato steps backwards. Attribute it to shyness if you like, but I have a tendency to dislike physical contact. Floyd stubs his toe and begins to whimper. There, there, says Plato. Get bit. Look around again. Uh, Plato and Floyd are both here. A little sleeping robot named Oliver is lying here. You can see a heating chamber here. Floyd trains the next to see what you're doing. You hear a message over the station's PA system. Deep space communication received at comm center. No operator on duty. This is a recording. So let's go east, north, south junction. This is a corridor that turns northeast and northwest of here. The second corridor begins here and leads south. There are doors to the southwest, southeast, and east. We go east to get to station control. I'm trying to find the comm center. Here we go. So we've made our way back to the comm center. This is the Deep Space Communication Center, which keeps the station in touch with, these inter with the Stellar Patrol Command and the rest of the Third Galactic Union. The regulations state the comm center must be monitored around the clock, 10 crons per day. There's no one on duty. Most of the equipment here is too complicated for anyone without deep space, blah, 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 blah. But the, state, the screen is now displaying a message. Read screen. From Forms Control Officer SPS Duffy to Lieutenant First Class, blah, blah, blah. Read current assignment. Message. 2,000 dreams of request for Stellar Patrol issue regulation, black form binders, request forms form found in mislabeled pallet. No additional supplies needed. Abort assignment returned to Duffy. Floyd absentmindedly oils one of his joints. Interesting. So we were just told not to do our main mission, but I'm going to cheat just a bit and make sure we didn't miss any rooms on this floor. Uh, that's the wrong floor, I think. Well, apparently we missed quite a bit. Uh, oh. Okay, well, there's a puzzle we got to solve to get um, through any of the iris connections. Oh, apparently there is a... Okay, never mind. All right, so we're kind of wandering around here. I think we've seen all this stuff, the log tape. Um... 
get back into our... We could get back in the space truck and try to leave, but we I think we're out of fuel. So, in fact, we have not seen everything here because we missed the workshop. We also missed the file room. So, yeah, it looks like we missed a, a bit of stuff. So let's... Um, Let's make our way back towards kind of the starting point of everything and go go north and that revealed more than I than I meant for it to actually. I was kind of hoping we could just get a quick view of the floor and make sure that I hadn't skipped past a like there's a room where I went north, south, east, and west and didn't know you could go southwest. But in fact, that kind of gave me an idea of one of these doors we really need to figure out how to open because there's a bunch of stuff behind it. So, oopsie. That was not right. I meant to go west. Oh, well, they're coming to kill me again. But I never did go north from this room, so now we go north. I made my way back to the main up-down ladder, where if we'd gone west, we'd be back to our own ship. And I went north, because apparently we never went there. And anyway, that takes us to a workshop. This is a fairly large space where much of the maintenance work for the station takes place. Some repair work for visiting ships is also done here. The room is filled with all sorts of repair and fabrication machinery. A door leads south and there's an opening to the north. You can see a 20 ohm bedister here. I have a feeling that is not useful. And the reason I'm guessing that is a joke uh, is because we needed something like that in the last game. So I feel like it's kind of a joke. So let's get the bedister, though, just in case. We have a blackened hybrid diode. These guys are playing uh, hider and seeker. If we go north again. It is pitch black. There are no. You hope there are no grooves aboard the station. So we'll go. We gotta find something to light these rooms up. Tube. This shiny cylindrical. Because now I'm going towards the northern. It leads to, I believe, the military module, which I wasn't sure. I was I basically we came to, and we were in, it was indicated that something was up to the north, and I decided we would explore this command module first. But I think it's time to move on. So the shiny cylindrical corridor is the connector between the command module to the south and the scientific submodule to the north. Scientific submodule, that's what it is. North engineering lab. This laboratory, which fills most of the middle of the submodule is for the study of applications of the various space-related research that takes place on the other levels. Gangways lead up and down, and a ladder leads north. A door leads north, excuse me. Connecting tube opens to the south. Floyd bounds in the room. Floyd here now. So we can now go up and down and north. Let's go north first. Engineering office. It's a small office associated with the lab to the south. You can see a diary here. Floyd and Plato follow you. Get diary. Hey, Plato, play hide and seek with Floyd. Read diary. This is the notebook of a certain Professor Schmidt who was studying a strange pyramid discovered aboard a derelict alien ship and brought here. Let's read this diary entry and then call it a video because this would appear to be a contained bit of story. Schmidt traced back the path well, you know what? Schmidt's not actually reading any of this himself, but uh, oh, there is one small piece of this in, in his voice. So. Schmidt traced back the path of the alien ship. The path points out points out of the galaxy without nearing any star system. Further, extending the path leads straight to one of the, our smaller neighboring galaxies. Schmidt concludes that the ship and the pyramid are probably well over one billion years old. Next, Schmidt studied the wall markings of the alien ship, a series of identical dots. They defied every computerized model of linguistic decipherment. Then, in an inspection, Schmidt studied the dots for non-visual properties. His diary vaguely refers to a breakthrough, saying, I guess my pal Zamea will get to show off his linguistic training. His pal the mayor will get to show off his linguistic training. Let's remember that. Finally, Schmidt began concentrating his studies on the pyramid itself. He was able to discover very little, blaming this primarily on the unexplained failure of several crucial pieces of lab machinery. I wonder, folks. Why, 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 Sorry, my little runaway. Uh, so reinforcing this because again, the game doesn't know in what order you'll find these bits of information. But an alien ship has arrived. 
there is a pyramid on board and a dead alien. Uh, and as they tried to study it, all the machinery in the uh, station started to break down. I guess we'll see what's coming, folks. We haven't completely run out of places to explore yet, but I feel like eventually we're going to have to start figuring out how to open either those iris hatches or... I don't know, we haven't really slammed up against a point where we haven't got any rooms left that we can explore, but I feel like we're getting there soon. Anyway, folks, when we come back next time, we'll continue evading hull welders. I might want to hop in the elevator and see exactly, because a day has passed, and the doors have started becoming somewhat hostile, like trying to slam shut while we're still in them. Um, the game just hinting at you all the time. Like like I said in the Mega Man LP, the the... Kind of depressing music of the Dust Man stage of Mega Man 4 always would like be playing in my head as I played this game because I was just envisioning this this station that was falling apart. We'll continue exploring the station in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Ali Ali Oxenfree!